Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gebo the Shaman and today we are discussing uh, trauma and boundaries. How those two go together and what to do if you're traumatized and you need to establish boundaries um, in your relationships. And um, boundaries are important with every every single human connection that you make because they are what separates you from me they are you know our defenses that make us that make us feel safe and when they are respected then we have generally we have a good time with others we're not feeling infringed upon and vice versa so we're you know, the other thing to know is that we're responsible for our boundaries. We're not responsible for others. They are responsible for theirs. For theirs. So, um, although, you know, yeah, it's just good to be considerate and respectful. So, what brought this about? Well, oh, this needing to talk about boundaries. Well, Essentially, um, we get a little bit personal here and share some personal stuff. Um, not gonna share names or get into fine detail, but um, essentially, um, so me, me and my cousin the other day we were having a conversation about um, uh, essentially I'll just put it this way we're ta we're talking about um, kind of something to do with Christianity or you know that that led to us talking directly about Christianity. Anyway, I felt a little bit attacked, um, like, because obviously, uh, this guy is not a Christian, so, you know, that's just something that I don't believe in. Anyway, um, so we were talking about this subject, and I was like, well, let's just be honest, she was ta doing most of the talking, I was just listening, and, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable talking about religion, especially Christianity. Um, this comes back to an old childhood wound, which was, uh, basically religious trauma essentially is what it is, religious trauma, and, um, I forget the, um, um, I forget the, uh, like, clinical term that was used, it was coined by someone, um, anyway, um, but it's basically religious trauma, religious trauma and abuse, essentially. Um, so yeah, um, so with, um, with this conversation, I became very triggered. But when I get triggered, I don't lash out like you know, the the stereotypical meme of someone being triggered is like the a liberal student, you know, just being just going like like that and uh um just kind of just having a temper tantrum and, and screaming and yelling and th things like that. That I guess somebody could be triggered and do that, however with my trauma response, I, when I get triggered, I just shut down. I just go and 
go inwards and dissociate and I become quiet and just try to remove myself from the situation on a mental level. Um, dissociation is essentially what, what it is and what happened. Um, although I will say that I'm getting better with that. That's happening less frequently. Um, so, um, so anyway, that, that situation happened. And then, like, I, I couldn't confront her in the moment, my cousin. Um, however, I did, the next day, I wrote a letter using I statements, meaning this is how I feel, this is what I think. Um, I didn't say, you did this and you're wrong, and uh, blah blah blah, I didn't point fingers, I said this is how I'm feeling, and this is what kind of what I need, this is what I need to have a healthy relationship with you. And did it very kindly and very eloquently and I sent the message. Um, something that you might not know is that um, for me to do that took a lot. Because in the past, it, you know, essentially, I, I would be shut down. I would, you know, like uh, what my mom would do is essentially tell me that I'm, I'm wrong, that I'm being uh, ridiculous, that my requests are too much, and that they're like, that I'm being ridiculous essentially so when I would try to set boundaries with my mom it would be I would just I just stopped because why what's the point if somebody doesn't really care what you have to say and they're just gonna stump all over you and abuse you anyway then what the hell is the point of even opening your mouth right so um that was kind of my my perspective going into that and that's why I a lot of times um, I, I just don't know how to respond to my boundaries being violated and I'll just uh, you know isolate I'll just get away from people um, do or say something that makes them not want to be around me um, act out passive aggressively. Um, things like that. But this time was different. I didn't do any of those things. Yeah, I, I shut down, but after I, after I re-regulated re myself, I basically, um, I sent her a letter. I well, first I cooled down, re-regulated myself, relaxed a little bit, had time to think about it, process it, and then when I was in a good headspace, I sent her a, a message. You know, a kindly worded message with I statements. So, anyway, that was that was my experience and um I'm super, like, happy and proud that I can, like, actually do that, you know, stick up for myself and let my needs be known, because that, uh, 
that certainly wasn't the case in the, in the past. So, um, yeah, um, so something that I, I often try, like, you know, in therapy, I'm trying to essentially tackle this big, you know, uh, this big problem in my life, which is basically the trauma, like childhood trauma associated with my my relationship with my mom however um, I'm now kind of learning that you know it's it's almost better to just focus on the the smaller areas and then tackle the big one so this was a win for me like even You've been talking about this, like, helps, so, yeah. Um, so, essentially what I want to talk about, guys, is uh, trauma. So, if you ha are having like issues with trauma, um, childhood trauma, and or, sorry, boundaries, um, yeah, and how those go together, it's interesting. Um, so, if you guys are having trouble with that, or like, I mean, childhood trauma is no joke. It's like, uh, you know, CPTSD. Um, is another name for it, which is basically complex PTSD. Um, so yeah, um, so basically wanted to talk about boundaries. Um, so I found this really good book. Um, this is actually the book that I'm working that I that I'm working on the steps with. It's called uh, Codependence Anonymous. And uh, so, yeah, it's, um, it's often referred to as the Coda Blue Book. Um, and I was going to Google search like what is what is boundaries and things like that and read that to you guys. However, I feel like this is a better type better a, a better take um, On boundaries and things like that than stuff you'll find in, in Google So um, Let's see here So it says, um, let me find it. So what are boundaries? If you don't know, cause here's the other thing. Like I, I didn't realize what boundaries were. I didn't realize that you could set boundaries with people. And you know, I, I just didn't realize that I didn't know about it until I was, you know, just like maybe a year ago or so, so. And then even then, once you know about it and learn about it, it's another thing to actually do it. And so anyway, I, I'm realizing now that I didn't tell you guys how that story ended with my cousin. <laughs> Um, what makes it so great is that she, you know, I, I did what I, I did my part. I let her know how I felt and, um, that she, that I'd like her not to talk about religion with me or Christianity or things like that. Um, and she was very respectful and receptive of that. 
She didn't shame me, criticize me, or anything like that. She was very accepting and um, respectful. So, um, so yeah, that was a win, a huge one, because that was like the first time in my life where that had been, um, you know, acknowledged. So, anyway, um, let's get on to the reading portion. So, essentially what it says, um, what are boundaries? A boundary is a limit or border. Um, boundaries relate to imaginary borders that surround each individual's body, spirit, energy, behaviors, thoughts, and emotions. We set boundaries to help to help ensure our personal safety, comfort, and self-respect. Um, if our boundaries are violated we are by ourselves or others, we experience various feelings of discomfort. Uh, thus, we, thus we use our boundaries to care for ourselves and to be respectful of others. Hold on, guys. Okay, so that's a good paragraph right there. It kind of gives a a good layout of what are what are boundaries. Um, so, you know, this is about creating personal safety in our relationships. Then we use our boundaries to care. Take care for ourselves and to be respectful of others. So, um, yeah. So this is all about creating safety in our relationships. So I just wanted to read one more paragraph and it's a long one. So here we go. <laughs> all right. So uh, our internal boundaries, and this is what I'm what we're calling internal boundaries. Um, our internal boundaries define and contain the unique personal characteristics of our thoughts, feelings, opinions, behaviors, beliefs, and spirituality. Boundaries help us recognize, help us um, recognize, honor, and respect our individual wants, our individual uh, <laughs> our individual wants, needs, and desires. They help us define our, our separateness and give us safety in our intimate communications uh, with, other, with others. If someone verbally attacks us, we, remain, we maintain our internal boundary and practice self-containment by moderately expressing our thoughts and feelings about their behavior. Using I statements. Or we may choose not to respond and silently remind, remind ourselves that, um, that how another person acts is about that person, not about us. If someone comforts uh, if someone confronts us about our behavior, we use our internal boundaries to listen to what they say. We do not internalize what is said before deciding if any of it rings true for us. If we have wronged the other person, we make amends in either uh, in either situation. Our self-worth is not di diminished because we have maintained our internal boundaries. Um, let me see here. 
So yeah, like, um, so yeah, that, that was a great, um, like, it, there's so much in this book to, to read and, uh, to, you know, really, um, digest because it, it's a lot, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's, it's like, you know, each word, each sentence is like full of, you know, goodness that could be dissected and, and worked up and like looked at and analyzed and worked upon and things like that. So anyway, um, just thought I'd share this with you guys and let me check on time. 20 minutes. Okay. Um, so, so, like, for example, if you are struggling with, you know, maybe you have childhood trauma like me, or maybe you, um, don't feel comfortable around people, or, or, you know, just want, want to be isolated in order to feel safe, um, totally resonate with that totally get that and uh but yeah it's it's good to know that you can actually you know if you have like it took a while for me to to actually come out and do that um it's i've been working on myself for quite some time and it's been a challenge to to set boundaries However, um, I think that if you do that with people that actually care about you and respect you and respect your boundaries, um, it's, it's so much easier. But if you're not with people who respect your boundaries, then you're just going to have to basically essentially cut them out of your life i mean they, it, it, if they can't respect the internal boundaries then you're going to have to put up an external boundary which means that you're going to have to uh essentially remove them from your life um because honestly like life's too short you have every you know you have you deserve to be happy and um so it's not worth it to spend life with people who make you unhappy and and don't care about your boundaries and don't care about you so um you know that's just um, that's just something to, like, be aware of, like, I mean, it, it, it takes, it takes guts to kind of, to, to be able to speak up for yourself and, you know, even remove people from your life, um, which is something that I'm you know, kind of struggling with doing, um, at times, or like, you know, um, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting concept for me because of my situation, but anyway. Alright guys, so, yeah, um, anyway, if you have childhood trauma, if you, you know, have trouble setting boundaries. You're definitely not alone in that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's still a struggle for me, so. Um, but anyway, guys. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, um, if you guys are interested in anything that I have to offer, 
I do have um, life coaching, career coaching services available. I do have, um, I, speaking of trauma, I do have a trauma healing course, which is available. Um, you can go to getbotheshaman.com and, uh, and that's in the description below and you can, um, go there and check that out. And, um, I also offer distance energy healing, which is, um, you know, a, a healing session, a one hour healing, healing session with me. Um, it is distance, so, um, you know, something to be aware of. Anyway, um, so I have career coaching, life coaching. I do have rune readings, which is basically um, where I tell you about your current and current situation and what's soon to come and things like that because um, yeah so it's it, if you want to learn about what's going on in your in your life it's a really good thing to be aware of so anyway uh, what else I'd have my astrology services Qigong courses astrology certification course astrology consultations, um, astrology readings, birth time rectification, all that good stuff. All right, so if you're interested in that, check that out. GebbeltheShaman.com, and I appreciate you. Um, the money that you spend over here, oh, oh yeah, and I have my Vedic astrology book called Tantric Secrets of Vedic Astrology. So the Monday money that you spend here goes directly to the, supporting the channel and paying my bills. So I would highly recommend um, supporting the channel through through actually getting something, some product or service or course or you know whatever it is. So anyway. Greatly appreciate you guys supporting me, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.